Hi, my name is Jason Watson with WCG, and we're wrapping up a fairly sizable um, podcast on kind of the inner, uh, the innards, if you will, of WCG and what we have to offer to those who might look to join our team. Um, I'm joined with Jason Schneider, the managing partner at awesome. WCG. Megan Olsherbruns, tax manager. All right, and you've done your intros four times now, so, or <laughs> at least four times. It'll be the last one. Um, thanks again, you guys, for for uh, joining us. Um, what, what what are the engagements that we're looking for? I think that's I think it's good to to have others understand the type mm -hmm. of business that we want to bring in. Yeah, they have a face. Yeah, right. That's there is two types of well, there's multiple types of engagements within CPA firms at WCG. We want to be able to communicate with the end user of who we're working with. Mm -hmm. That's. It's about as simple as it gets, right? Those are the individuals that we're connecting with, we're fostering relationships with, we're counseling, we're guiding. We're influencing. We're influencing. Mm -hmm. That is the client engagement that we want. And we strive so much at WCG to make sure that we set the expectations properly, that we have the tools necessary to do that, and, we, and that we have the ability um, at quite a few different staff levels to be able to have that face, mm -hmm. to be able to have that engagement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I agree. Megan? Um, yeah, I think, you know, just to add a little specificity, one place that we really focus is small business owners, mm -hmm. right? And, and we mean small in a lot of ways. You know, your one man, your one mm -hmm. shareholder shops, you know, we, um, we want to be their support system for finance. You know, we are going to help with payroll. We're going to do their compliance. We're going to answer their should I buy this car question. And um, and we really focus on those relationships to be able to provide, I think, the most value. Um, these are people who don't maybe have um, the knowledge or the resources to, you know, take care of this all themselves. Yeah. There's a lot to know. Yeah. And um, and so we kind of pride ourselves on being able to, you know, efficiently and affordably provide those services to people, you know, at kind of a mass level. Yep. Yeah. Uh, um, people hire a professional because they don't know. Mm -hmm. If they knew the answer, they wouldn't need us, right? So that's cool. And we've all been on consultations and, and PBRs, which is our periodic business reviews, and we're explaining something to the client, and you can actually hear the bulb click or whatever, right? They're like, oh, no one has explained yeah. it that way. In 10 years, I never knew why I had to do this. You're the first CPA who said, this is why, and, and, and that's a great feeling. Um, and small business, you know, kind of to, to expand on what you guys were saying is, you know, I got into this um, a while ago to help others, right? And, and of course, we found a way to monetize that help, and, and here we are with a firm. But to help others is still the initial salvo, right? Mm -hmm. And if you're sitting around a conference room table with a bunch of other accountants and you're arguing about how to carry the one on this big, massive corporate tax return, that's not satisfying to me. Um, the tax return is not where I get satisfaction. I get satisfaction in providing that comfort to the client, knowing mm -hmm. they're, again, you know, compliant and minimizing tax due and all that stuff. So I agree. It's, it's the people business in a yeah, lot of ways. Yeah, this, this consult that I got off, uh, it was a couple weeks ago, his email back to me after we communicated, he's like, Jason, I'm just... I just want someone to take this weight off my shoulders. Mm -hmm. This chore? This, yeah, just, I, I don't want it. And you guys can do that. It's our chosen profession. It's our, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and he's like, that's what I'm looking for. So let's move forward, right? And that's, that's a lot of the reason why I'm in it. It's not because, I enjoy doing tax returns. It's not because I love math for whatever reason. That right. gets tied to the accounting profession. Yeah. I feel like we Crazy. hardly do any math. I love numbers. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's that that help that yeah. I can take that weight off your shoulders and and we're good at it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can yeah. trust us. Yeah. You yeah. can trust what we do for you. You can sleep well at night. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Provide that comfort. Right. Um, so those are the engagements. We over, I mean, I think when you're a brand new CPA firm, which we were at one time, 
you kind of take on all engagements. Now, the benefit, at least for Tina and I, is that we were able to, um, we, we still had full-time jobs, right? Wow. So we, we kind of joke about the milk crate, you know, and our, our entire firm is sitting in this milk crate. But we were able to, early on, decide who we want to be. And I think you've echoed those words lately too, but what kind of firm do we want to be? And the benefit of WCG is that we have defined that firm and what we want to be. Um, I don't think some, some firms just, again, are all things to all people. Mm -hmm. You said, I, I think in segment one, you talk about that mile wide, inch deep, and mm -hmm. we're very narrow, but we're very deep, mm -hmm. or uh, whatever. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm probably, yeah, probably messing up the analogy in some way, but um, no, we have, and if Tina was here, she would talk about we're cutting off limbs. Like we're just, we don't need that, we don't need that. Let's cut this off and let's kind of get down to like the corpus yeah. of who we are, you know, mm -hmm. the core. Um, let's be really, really good right. at serving the people that we want to serve. Yeah, exactly. That's the idea. And we've, and to, uh, a couple segments ago, we talked about some of our challenges, right? Mm -hmm. And I think over the last couple of years, WCG has lost sight of that just a little bit about what engagements that we want to have and, and relationships is really what it is. It's not even engagements. Yeah. I mean, we call them engagements because that's what nerdy accountants call it, but really it's relationships, yeah. you know? And we have taken a hard look at redefining those, those uh, relationships that we want to have. Do you want to talk more about that? Well, a little bit because it, I think it's good to understand the path of how that happens. Yeah, you're a new CPA firm and yeah, you're willing to bring on revenue so you can survive. Right. And that doesn't change though 30 years later sometimes with old firms. No, right? Um, but the other factor is it's hard to say no. <laughs> You have another person on the end of the line who needs help. Who needs help. And we and we pride ourselves on helping people. Yeah. We like and, that part of the job. And we're good at it and we know the answer. Oh. Yeah. That punches you right in the gut. Mm -hmm. right. right. But at the same time, you have to step back and, and keep on target with where we as a firm have decided to go. Yeah. And that's why you have others in the leadership team and other managers. That's why we get together and have these discussions that we do to make sure, yeah. hey, I'm not crazy, right? <laughs> Michelle, we don't want this business, right? Am I right? crazy, right? <laughs> they're like, no, no, I'm like, okay, all right. <laughs> now we're moving right. Now we're moving in the, in the same direction again. Yeah, so. we've had to learn, I don't think we're done learning it yet, but we've had to learn how to gracefully exit a relationship. Mm -hmm. You know, hey, you know, we were, we, we have the ability to choose and we're not choosing to, to continue with this relationship or take it on. Yeah. And then we have to turn that awkwardness into, into helping them find a new provider yeah. or, or declining the engagement. Um, I will say too, I think that's one of the ways that we protect our staff totally. and protect their development is we don't dump staff into Fires. unknown waters <laughs> and th we don't just say figure it out, that's your client, you deal with it and they're like, I've never seen anything like this, right. you know, and, and I mean, we do, we're developing staff in a direction as opposed to just saying, well, here's public accounting. Yep. Good, <laughs> good luck. luck. Yeah. yeah. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah, and one of the, um, oh, I had a train of thought, I already lost it, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, that, uh, that it, it, we are again just continuing, oh, what, um, here is the phrase I wanted to say is, is, you know, early on I was in business school, I think someone mentioned some professors, like, you have to afford to not take on business. Mm -hmm. You have to put yourself in a position to, uh, to not have to take on business just because you feel like you must or you have to pay bills or all those mm -hmm. things. And, and WCG has been very, very healthy um, by just doing what we do and only doing what we do best. Um, well, you said it um, at manager meetings after tax season. We had a brutal tax season like I'm sure everybody did you right. know and and we June sat down yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah the May 17 <laughs> version yeah yeah but you said hey if we need to make less money but we're all a lot happier let's do that yeah you totally. know and, and that's just not a real common 
thing that you hear from partners of, of firms, or I think, you know, uh, most business owners. Yeah. You know, you, uh, we it hurts just, to say that. Right. But, but, I but mean, ultimately, we have to protect our firm because if we don't protect the inside, it doesn't matter what happens on the outside. So for us to turn off the outside or modulate mm -hmm. is, is the word we're using, modulate the outside coming into our inside. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We just, we have to be mindful, and I think we are trying and, and we are being mindful about what what should the clientele look like? What should the staff look like? How you know how do we do, how do we build this into what we want it to look like in a year and five years and ten years? Yeah. And there's a path there. It's great if you read the book McDonald's. It's called uh, Grinding It Out mm. by you know, by Ray Kroc, and uh, in there the movie's okay, but in the book, of course, they expand on stuff. And and you know some of the early stores were in southern communities and they wanted to do fried chicken and they wanted to do local mm, sure. local menu items that that the local community wanted and and it drove ray crazy because he's like no we sell hamburgers fries and shakes that's it <laughs> but everybody wants apple pie you know which ultimately became a pretty big seller for mcdonald's <laughs> but back in there back in the 50s he's like no there'll be no apple pie <laughs> you know and, and and he drove that home and i think we're doing the same thing and you mentioned a couple of segments ago where i go around to other people and then megan you came from the audit world mm -hmm. in some respects do you want to create an audit team, and you're like, I'm not saying no, I'm saying hell no, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And and uh, you know that's who we are. That we're choosing the revenue that we want to do. We're choosing our path. We're in a luxurious spot because revenue is not our problem right now. Our lim fact, our limiting factor is is the people. So we're having to balance the work we take on with the people that we can obtain, with the processes and procedures that we can implement so. yeah mm -hmm. anything else you want to expand on that or no no <laughs> okay I'm, we're gonna wrap it. <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up <laughs> we're gonna wrap it up and we kind of talked about this throughout a couple different segments but this will be a good way to end um on a, let's say what do we need our 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 ask right so what kind of leaders do we need here at wcg do you want to Smart, Take that one. Smart, <laughs> smart, capable, capable, <laughs> kind, and competitive. Yeah, I think that's where you're looking. Is you know you need you need the empathy piece, but you also need to be ready to get up and go yeah. every day. Mm. You know? Yeah. Um, for me, if I were to ask myself that, it's we we want you to bring your ideas. Kind of going back to what I said earlier. You know, this this firm does not have to be your firm or my firm. You know, 20 years from now, um, it can be yours because you're, you're yeah. because you're younger than us. But <laughs> but um, no, we we want individuals who are sitting there going, I have a list of ideas, and nobody cares. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to make the firm that I'm at now a better firm. I have the pride. I see the problems. I have the entrepreneurial spirit that you yeah. mentioned a while ago. No one's listening to me. Yep. Yeah. And opposite at WCG, mm -hmm. we don't say we're available. We say, no, 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 we encourage you, we demand that you come to us with your ideas, mm -hmm. with your list of like things that you would like to see differently. You know, we, we starve for that. Uh, yeah. We don't have it all figured out, mm -hmm. you know, and that's cool, right? Because then we can rely on others to help us figure well, it out. Well, we know that we don't have it all yeah. figured out. And they can help shape it. Yeah. Right. I think mal being malleable, right? Yeah. Having the ability to come into a group of like minded, smart, kind, compassionate people. Yes. Mm -hmm. Right. You have to, you have to be able to work with others. Um, but, Jason, I don't know if you can hear it through the cameras or through our speakers uh, or microphones here, but one thing that the listeners and people watching this probably can't pick up on, or hopefully they can, is just the excitement that comes out of your voice when you're talking about it. Mm -hmm. And part of that is not only excitement, but that that motivation, right? Like you have to you have to want to be successful and want to change, yeah. right? Yeah. You want, you have to want it. And that's what comes through in your voice. Oh, thanks. And it really helps drive home kind of the professionals that we're looking for here. Like yeah. that, that compassionate, maybe that's what it is, compassion. Yeah. Um, 
are passionate about what we're trying to accomplish here. Yeah. Well, they, have well, to care, they have to care about the clients. They have to, I mean, legitimately care. Yeah. You can't fake it nope. that long. You have to actually care about these people. You have to care about your coworkers. You have to care about your career. You know, we don't really, we're not really looking for people who just want to come and grind it out every day. Yeah. You know, we need people who want to be building something. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's tough. I think you do have those individuals who are like, look, I'm happy here. Mm -hmm. Don't make me do more. But you're right. If you're starving to do more, if you feel that ceiling like mm -hmm. you felt at, mm -hmm. at another firm and you felt the ceiling in a different way, mm -hmm. you're like, look, I'm the guy. I'm, I'm the only guy. Everyone yeah. comes to me with all the problems, mm -hmm. IT, HR, tax, all these things. And I've been that guy too, yeah. okay? So we all kind of hit ceilings in different ways, but we come together and there's probably still a ceiling theoretically, but we- Software. Yeah, we pushed it off. <laughs> it's yeah. not visible, right? You know, and, and we, can all, uh, we can all rely on each other, bring those ideas to the table and, and, and create leadership as a group and not just the one person Absolutely. thing. Absolutely. You know, so anyway, positive stuff. That's great. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Anything else that you want to add? I mean, we, we kind of talked about a lot of good stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> you know what we haven't talked about? Oh, boy. We don't, part, part six? <laughs> yeah. We don't bill hours. Oh, yeah. Which oh, I think man. is a huge thing that sets us apart that I completely love. Yeah. <laughs> so. let's, let's talk about that because I believe that is, and Kelly's going, you guys got to wrap it up. This is going too long. <laughs> this, is, this segment is way too long. It's never going to fit. Um, le let's talk about that and we'll just make this an extended um, segment. Is, is some of the differences of WCG and, and you know, Tina and I for a long time have always kind of, we, we didn't work for traditional CPA firms. I was an airline pilot mm -hmm. who had some business acumen and I got my CPA and here we are, you know what I mean? She worked at various firms, but nothing super traditional, not, no big eight, right. if you will, back then, six, four now. But um, so we don't even know what that's like. So for us to say, oh, we're all bucking trends, eh, that's not really true. <laughs> we don't know what other firms do, right? Yeah. We're just like, well, we, well, we get to draw it up. We'll just draw it up this way. Mm -hmm. and, and so charge hours. It's a huge deal and it's a huge time suck and efficiency <laughs> suck for a lot of places. At, at one of my old firms, we had an accounting manager who, no joke, spent two solid working days every month just billing. Right. Just that was sending my out worst bills. nightmare. Yeah. Figuring oh, out the bills. Yep, yep. And we used to, we'd have to stop, like somewhere in the middle of tax season. Everybody stop what you're doing and bill because you, we were going to run out of money. <laughs> you know? yeah. Everybody was just doing the work and not, you know, and yeah. we just do not operate like that at all. Yeah. We, I mean, we, we pre-price everything. We don't have surprise bills. We don't, you know, a lot, a lot of our clientele is set up on subscription service. Right. So they just pay us monthly and we do the work and we don't need And we were one of the first yeah. ones, I think, to, to, uh, to add that business advisory service. But yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's transparent. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. No yeah, surprises. That's, that's two things that I get, or at least one thing that I get on all the time about our website is that the fees are there. Now, they don't cover all worlds, but it's a testament to, I believe, what WCG is, right? We're not that mile wide, inch deep firm. We're not hanging our shingle, taking on all business. Mm -hmm. We have defined the business that we're willing to take on, and it's very narrow, mm -hmm. right? Um, and then we're able to say, well, Here's the fee for that. Yep. We, we've done this a million times. It's not a commodity, but it's pretty close to being a well-defined service level that we can then fix the price or do a fee range. Sure. And for those who are who are in front of a machine right now, go to our website, look at our fee page. Uh, those listening, yeah, I encourage you to go do that because we put our fees out there. Sure, we have some disclaimers and all mm -hmm. that stuff, but that takes the pressure off of it mm -hmm. because Meg, I know at your other firm, you would take phone calls from the client about the bill. Yep. And Absolutely. you're like, look, I have my boss telling me you bill for every six minutes mm -hmm. and we'll deal with the aftermath. Well, that's not true. You deal with the aftermath, <laughs> yep. you know? Yep. Uh, Megan, you didn't. You do not spend you know, 25 hours on my stuff. Yeah, I actually spent 28 and I was yep. able to tuck three somewhere else. <laughs> yep. You know what I mean? And now you're complaining, you know? It was a constant source of stress. You know, how much, it, it was almost like how much could I, you know, here's how much time it actually took me. 
here's how much I think I can get away with billing. Right. You know, and so yeah. you, you had to balance that constantly. And you were right. never right. You always had people who, and, and some of it's that value proposition, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, somebody call and say, I don't think this tax return was worth that. Well, then, then we didn't communicate correctly, right? right? Because that's that's you not valuing the work that we're doing at the level that we're valuing it. So we just, we get all of that out of the way up front. Yeah, that's not, that's a great observation. And again, I came from that world. I didn't come from yeah. that any other world. I, I I was like, why are we doing, you know, mm -hmm. we've, we've never had a charge hour at WCG. It allows you to sweep it away and focus on the relationship. Correct. Yep. That's, yep. It takes money off the table, yep. if you will. Yeah. It takes the awkwardness of money yeah. off the table. Yep. We've already agreed. Yep. We've, you know, they've already paid in a lot of circumstances, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, know. That's true. That's true. So. All right. We really probably have to wrap this up. Maybe okay. we'll do another one of these and talk about some of those other things at a later date. But right now we got to wrap it up. My name yep. is Jason Watson alongside Jason Schneider. Megan Olchenbrun. For WCG. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for listening and watching. And stay tuned for more information about our, current, our, our firm. Thank you.